this Greek instability uh, security question. After the migration crisis, I think all of us can say a very clear and definite yes. A few words about what kind of West we imagine. If I would like to say it very shortly, I would say we would like a Christian Europe. And I think uh, to rehabilitate uh, Christian Europe as a category is a very important task for us. Christian in this context doesn't mean a confessional term. It is a political category. A political category of, first of all, uh, a Europe of solidarity. First and foremost, uh, that of internal solidarity, because the democratic states are responsible before all for their own citizens, which doesn't block its own members to stabilize their economy and society. But let us not forget external solidarity, either uh, not, but not limiting this to the migrants from different parts of the world, rather focusing to our own surrounding, like the Eastern partners, uh, especially the Ukraine and uh, uh, other uh, neighboring uh, uh, countries. It means also a pragmatic and strong Europe, which is able to defend itself from foreign challenges, security and economic challenges as well. And it means in a broad sense understood sustainable Europe, which is solving one problem, in which solving one problem doesn't generate a new one, a bigger one, like solving the decrease of labor force caused by demographic drop by importing ethnic conflict. Instead of this, promoting pro-family policies, which we believe is the most important component of a Christian European idea, to increase the strength and the influence of families and communities in our society. Few words about the migration policy. Let us make uh, it clear Hungary has never been against helping the migrants and asylum seekers who come from the Middle East. We have ever, never been against them in general. But yes, we are decidedly against letting uncontrolled masses into Europe, and especially forcing member states to change their social stru structures radically without the consent of our society. And yes, we are decidedly against forcing member states, as it happened in our case, to give up practicing EU laws and measures in which we agreed and we undertook together, especially Schengen, which we believe is a key atti communitaire of uh, the European Union. Stability uh, must always stand in the center of our foreign policy doctrine. For stabilizing Hungarian society, we also need stability around us and obviously in the world as well. Uh, without that, security challenges pour into our region on the one hand. On the other, instability shakes our foreign markets, which provide a good deal of the sources for <coughs> stabilizing the Hungarian society. Stability uh, is the center, and must be the center, uh, of our Ukraine policy, which should remain in our focus, as recently the migration crisis turns uh, the attention away of the international community from the Ukraine. It involves not only creating an independent Ukraine and supporting a sovereign Ukraine, but also stabilizing Ukraine, thus closing the conflict as soon as possible to make way for economic development. And we need to follow the so-called minority situation in the Ukraine closely. The minorities will only identify with the Ukrainian state if they feel included and handled as partners. This policy of ours is often misunderstood, not without the help of foreign interpreters. I will let you guess where these interpretations origin. Some want to present our concern for Hungarian minorities as uh, we 
We want it to weaken the Ukraine. However, it is the contrary. If the Hungarian and Ukrainian find their common, in common interest, the party of the Hungarian minority, and the so-called uh, KMKS, the Cultural Alliance of the Hungarian Party, uh, which is actually the ally of the majority Ukrainian political force, the Poroshenko bloc, uh, and whose member of parliament is representing the Poroshenko bloc in Kiev as well. So that immediately contributes to a stronger Ukraine. Understanding and unity inside the Ukraine, stability, and stability is power. And uh, uh, there are, don't forget, large other than Russian, Russian communities in the Ukraine, not just the Polish, uh, but also uh, two minorities which are bigger than the Hungarian minorities in the western Ukraine. It is uh, the Romanian community and the Bulgarian community. Our Syria policy could be another example for the security-centered foreign policy. <coughs> Global instability is not in favor of the European, Hungarian, Central European stability because it shakes our trading partners, our markets, and also steers the attention from the arranging and settling, setting problems of our region. Dear friends, a few words about Central Europe. Uh, Central Europe, uh, in our understanding, is not, above all, a block of political believe that it is a block of political values. We uh, look at Central Europe uh, as an engine for the ideal of the Europe of nations. And our understanding of uh, sovereignty, nationhood, identity is what really binds us together. We believe that this is the real strength of Europe, what we in Central Europe nurture. This is the kind of golden reserve for Central European uh, uh, and the whole continental uh, political aims. Uh, when we talk about sovereignty, uh, we are just going back to the very origins of the pooling of the solid sovereignty. We don't give up in the European Union our sovereignty, but we are pooling our sovereignty together in order to be more effective. Strong Central Europe doesn't exist without uh, Hungarian, Polish friendship and solidarity. Solidarity is a good word because our conditions, our interests, our situations might be different. Thus we cannot require the same things from each other uh, all the time. Solidarity doesn't mean a homogeneous bloc. Thus, we do not necessarily act in the exactly same way, but we help each other to develop and advance in reaching our goals. Hopefully, many common goals we can identify in the future and we can realize them uh, together. I started with the idea of a strong Central Europe and I think we four have recently shown that United Action is effective in defending Europe's border uh, on the south of the Hungarian uh, uh, border. We are grateful for the Polish and the Czech and the Slovak contingents that support the Hungarian armed forces in guarding the borders. I would like to close with recalling a historical record in similar action, which I found interesting, especially today. In the Visegrad countries, the V4 acted similarly at the origins. In 1335, meeting in Visegrad, there the negotiating parties agreed on acting together against outlaw persons found anywhere in their kingdoms. Moreover, I quote, we especially order, promise, and keep imperishably that those who will be proscribed either in the kingdoms of Hungary, Poland, and Bohemia, or in the lands of princely loyal subjects, in all these kingdoms and lands must be kept effectively proscribed in that way. If any should be found at such 
aforementioned places, utmost central shall be executed upon them. Uh, charter issued on November the 19th, 1335, with the seal of Kazimir the Great. So, uh, dear colleagues, uh, Polish and uh, Hungarian historical chance is very uh, 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 great and open uh, to us. Uh, you have got, and we have got, very clear mandates from our electorate. We have got this clear mandate for uh, a lengthy period of minimum three years. Uh, and this long period and this strong mandate creates the situation to, to build a long-awaited, successful and strong Central Europe. Beyond uh, V4, beyond even the borders of Central Europe, for the benefit of Europe, uh, in a, which is in a very deep moral and political crisis. I believe that this is our common heritage and probably our common mission as well. Thank you very much for your attention. Russia. Uh, you know, uh, the most important is to start where uh, Fidesz was coming from. We were coming from an anti communist uh, student movement uh, in the 1980s. And uh, like NZS in Poland. Uh, and we had uh, <coughs> similar opposition past as Solidarność. Some of you are coming from the Solidarność movement. It was uh, 1989 uh, when uh, we buried Imre Nagy in the main square of Budapest, of the Hero Square. Uh, 
stood up and said that Russia's go home, repeating the 1956 uh, uh, slogan. Uh, and we have been uh, in the forefront of the uh, anti-communist and anti-Soviet movement since uh, then. If you look at the uh, support we give to different uh, social movements which are trying to maintain the memory of the past, trying to erect statues, I'm sure you have seen the House of Terror in Budapest if you have been there, which is one of the most renowned museums of this kind in Central Europe. But you are right, uh, Hungary has a different uh, situation vis-a-vis -vis Russia. I was informed that basically uh, Poland is economically independent uh, from Russia. You are not uh, uh, dependent in any aspect uh, of your uh, Hungary is in a different situation. Uh, Hungary, in the last uh, 20 years, we have been working on the uh, diversification of the Hungarian energy resources, but we were not successful. And it was not our fault, because we did our utmost to diversify our energy uh, situation. But as you remember, Nabucco, the major plan uh, to diversify for uh, the Central European energy uh, was uh, <coughs> uh, in the end, unfortunately, failed. Uh, there was not a clear political support but to Nabucco, neither by the EU nor by the United States and no one else, because if there was, it would have been uh, uh, built. And still, uh, I would draw your attention to uh, the energy situation of southern Central European countries is, 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 uh, is great. Serbia and Bosnia-Herzegovina, West Balkans countries, are supplied through Hungary uh, concerning their co gas consumption. It is not just about uh, Hungary. And also, you know, the role of the uh, uh, present uh, Hungarian energy situation uh, of uh, nuclear energy. Hungary has a, a Russian uh, nuclear energy uh, power station in Paks, uh, which supplies 40% uh, of the uh, electric consumption of the country. Uh, without uh, Paks, uh, Hungary uh, uh, could not work. And we don't believe that Hungary has any alternative real alternative to uh, nuclear energy and obviously to uh, oil and, and gas. So our uh, situation is uh, in, the, in these questions, uh, there are very hard economic facts. And yes, uh, we have to cooperate with Russia in these fields and Europe will have to cooperate with Russia and will cooperate with Russia in uh, these uh, economic uh, uh, raw material uh, uh, segments, and God knows uh, how uh, uh, it will, the economic relations will move and develop in the future. Which doesn't block, and that is the point number two I would like to make in this regard, to share uh, all the burdens uh, with uh, Central European countries who are vulnerable to the blackmailing of Russia, our security commitment towards NATO, towards the Ukraine, uh, towards the Baltic countries, towards uh, uh, all neighboring countries of uh, the Western Alliance, uh, Russia, including Georgia. I'm sure you know that uh, uh, many persecuted Georgian, Georgian politicians uh, uh, have fled Hungary, and they are in Hungary, and we are trying to help them in their movement. So uh, this kind of strong solidarity in all uh, fields of security is there, and it will remain so. And uh, when the conflict 
arises between uh, our economic cooperation and in our uh, security orientation. It has not yet. We haven't experienced blackmailing until now on behalf of the Russians. But if they did, obviously, uh, our Western commitments and our Western security approach would prevail. Your second question is the cooperation of Central Europe. Uh, I think Central Europe uh, uh, is basically a value uh, community. And I think we have to influence with our values, with our common thinking, uh, uh, our environment, including Europe. That's where I see uh, the most important role uh, of our cooperation. But obviously we are uh, an economic entity as well. Uh, we have been used by uh, our big neighbors, East and West, just to cross across us in the past couple of centuries. And the North-South construction of our region was always a dream. We have not been able to realize the creation of a, a organic uh, economic cooperation uh, in our region. And I think we should invest now into that. Now we have the chance. We have the European Union resources. Uh, in the next financial, the existing financial perspective have uh, the connecting European facility, uh, Europe facility, which could contribute to creating uh, an infrastructure uh, cooperation inside the region. But we need to be very innovative how we can make economically more viable and organic working uh, Central Europe. And yes, thirdly, I wouldn't exclude the role of the Central European cooperation in influencing Brussels in, in very nitty gritty uh, 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 issues. Actually, the V4 ministers do meet. Uh, before each council meetings, including the prime ministers do meet. And I think that is something that uh, we need to continue. And we need to extend this cooperation, uh, because the more we are from Central Europe, uh, representing our common interests, the bigger chance we have that we can influence the European decision making. But we are not at all anti-European, on the contrary. Uh, I think this European commitment is a lesson for our history. And as it is a, a very useful instrument for uh, France and Germany to unite and to grow, for Central Europe, uh, the European Union is a very good instrument. We have experience with Slovakia, for example, and with all our neighbors, Hungarians, are in a very, very uh, difficult situation, uh, especially Romania. Large Hungarian minorities, 1.5 million in Romania, 0.6 in Slovakia, 0.3 in Serbia, 0.2 uh, million in the Ukraine, and then if two and a half, three million Hungarians, we are a 10 million uh, country in the neighboring countries. It is a 30 percent. Imagine if you have 10, 20, 20 10, 50 millions uh, of uh, Poles in your neighboring countries. That is roughly uh, the comparison. So for us, the European commitment is a very national, a very deep national interest. So we are not uh, 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 working against uh, the European Union. We are working for an alternative European Union uh, to the existing one. And I think it is a major difference. Jewelry. Uh, I didn't understand and take your point concerning the jewelry. Uh, in Hungary, the jewelry, jewelry, Jewish, Jew, 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 jewelry, jewelry. Uh, so the Jews in Hungary uh, are respected by us. I'm just saying, I don't know if you know, but every year there is made quote anti-Semitic report. Yes. Tel Aviv University, yes. Israel. Yes. And it's just very interesting to see that they are, in the end, they are numbers. Yeah. And if somebody says Poland or Hungary is anti-Semitic, then look who is in front of us online. And there's so many countries, most yeah. of Europe and, and other countries. It's just, yeah. it just wasn't a question. It was okay, just okay, thank you, thank you. Okay. <laughs>